Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, our today's topic is uh, classes, breeds, and strains of poultry and their uh, characteristics. Uh, in this lecture, I will be uh, discussing with you the classification of poultry. Uh, I mean, different classes of uh, poultry which exist in uh, all over the world. Then uh, uh, the differentiation between breed, variety, and strain. Uh, and at the end, I will be comparing uh, our desi breed with Lailpur silver black. So let's start with the, the classification of uh, poultry. So uh, uh, there is a group of uh, standard breeds which have been developed in a certain region or uh, geographical area. Uh, basically, uh, uh, based on these uh, definition or uh, ge of uh, geographical regions, uh, there are uh, four classes uh, which include Asiatic, English, American, and Medi Mediterranean. So in these four classes, uh, let's discuss their characteristics. So uh, let's start with the Asiatic. Their uh, body size, they have a heavy body size and uh, majority of these uh, birds are used for meat purpose. Uh, their uh, uh, egg shell color is uh, brown um, and uh, the ear lobe color is red. Uh, their skin color is yellow uh, and uh, they have shanks, uh, uh, feathers on their shank. So these are the Asiatic uh, uh, class. So uh, uh, under our conditions or in our geographical area, we have Asiatic class of uh, uh, poultry. So uh, one uh, important thing about, uh, thing about uh, these uh, Asiatic class of uh, uh, birds is uh, that uh, only Asiatic class has uh, um, feathers on the shank and other three classes they do not have uh, feathers on their shanks. Uh, next category is English uh, class. Uh, English class basically is uh, medium uh, body size and uh, can be used for both egg and meat purpose and uh, uh, it lays egg with the brown shell color and their ear lobe color is red, uh, while their skin color is white and uh, they do not have any uh, feathers on their shank. So uh, this class is the only class which has white skin color and other uh, classes, uh, they have yellow skin color. Uh, uh, next uh, uh, class is uh, American class. American class like uh, uh, English uh, class, uh, is uh, has medium body size and can be used for both egg and meat purpose. They also lay the same uh, brown uh, colored uh, uh, egg, uh, eggs and their ear lobe are also red and their, but their skin color uh, is yellow. As I already told you that white skin color is only present in English class of birds. Uh, and uh, again, uh, unlike Asiatic uh, class, they do not have any feathers on their shank. And lastly, uh, the fourth class is Mediterranean uh, class of poultry. Uh, Mediterranean uh, basically is a light uh, uh, class of birds, uh, poultry birds, uh, and uh, it is used only for the egg purpose. Mm, the shell color, egg shell color is white. Uh, their ear lobe color is also white. Uh, and uh, their skin color is yellow. Uh, and uh, uh, you all know that they, they do not have feathers on their shank. So this was the classification of uh, uh, poultry. Now uh, I will explain you the difference between breed, variety and strain. In case of breed, uh, it's a group of birds which belong to same living place and having similar characteristics, including uh, their body shape, body size and skin color. For example, uh, white leghorn is a breed, Manorca, black Manorca, it's uh, also another breed. So if we, if we, uh, uh, if we look on the definition of uh, variety, so within a breed, uh, the group of birds uh, which have been divided uh, either by a plumage color or 
शेप ऑफ देयर कॉम और फेदर पैटर्न फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिंगल कॉम वाइट लेग हॉर्न इज डिफरेंट देन रोज कॉम लेग हॉर्न सो दीज आर टू डिफरेंट वराइटीज विद इन दी वाइट लेग हॉर्न नेक्स्ट इज द थर्ड लेवल विच इज नोन एज स्ट्रेन स्ट्रेन बेसिकली इज अ स्पेसिफिक चिकन ब्रीडिंग फ्लॉक हैविंग गिवन नेम एंड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अ ब्रीडर through at least 5 generations of closed flock mating and selected for certain characteristics uh, for example babcock babcock um uh, uh, in commercial settings uh, where uh, we have layer uh, layer strains so uh, we call them strains uh, because uh, 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 they have been uh, established or developed by certain uh, breeding companies and uh, for a certain uh, i would say purpose like if if these are layer then they definitely have a purpose of uh, giving uh, laying eggs and they have been uh, uh, produced for at least five generations of closed flock mating um, and, and in the last uh, 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 part of my lecture uh, i will uh, compare the uh, desi and lalpur silver black with all of you let's talk uh, about uh, lalpur silver black why i am talking about you this uh, breed is very important for pakistan especially because uh, uh, first of all um, uh, it was developed by uh, the poultry science department of uh, university of agriculture faisalabad uh, first uh, important thing which i wanted to discuss uh, with you in 1963 uh, or or so so it is uh, well adopted to our local conditions uh, having good disease resistance and it uh, produces about uh, double the number of eggs in a year and 50% more meat than desi birds in 12 weeks so lsp uh, it was evolved by crossing four different breeds uh, like white leg horn with desi and uh, white cornish and new hampshire white leg horn breed was used to enhance the egg productive potential of uh, desi birds whereas white cornish and new hampshire breeds were used to improve the meat production capacity of of desi birds so as a result of these four crosses uh, uh, we got a very wonderful breed uh, which has been uh, uh, in the past which has i mean given a very outstanding performance uh, uh, with reference to that time uh, but now we have uh, a new breed developed uh, by uh, uh, my uh, teacher Uh, Pro Professor Dr. Sajad Khan Sab, and uh, it's also a very, very, uh, I mean, wonderful uh, breed because the the number of eggs it it lays uh, in uh, in a year is more than three uh, hundred uh, eggs, and secondly, the size of the egg is very good. I mean, it's it's like uh, uh, normal we have table uh, eggs. The size is like that, so it's also a very good breed. now uh, let's talk about desi uh, breed uh, which doesn't have too much uh, uh, production potential but uh, it's very important to discuss about uh, the uh, productive pr production potential of this breed a uh, desi uh, breed normally produces uh, almost 73 uh, eggs per year and uh, its egg uh, weight is almost 45 grams uh, and uh, it starts to lay eggs at uh, 212 days of age it can uh, tolerate heat well adapted to our local environment condition and its livability is uh, 90% so if we compare it with the lsb uh, the egg production potential was doubled egg weight also increased uh, body weight was also increased because uh, in a four uh, breed crossing uh, two breeds were from broiler uh, background and it also uh, matures very early uh, at 180 days uh, heat tolerance and livability both are the same in uh, uh, lsb and desi breed so that was all uh, for this lecture thank you very much